They say buying or selling a home at Christmas time is not a good idea. I disagree. Because a home, the right home, is your home for any time of the year. But can't you just picture it? Your little one growing up here, waking up on Christmas morning with those bright, joy-filled eyes, just wondering what Santa's brought. <sighs> this is a home for a family, a family like yours. We'll take it. When can we sign the contracts? Come by my office this afternoon, and Allison and I will have everything ready. Oh, thanks, Liz. It's so homey. But don't forget to bring the check for the deposit money. Will do. That's your third sale this month. I thought Christmas was supposed to be slow. For amateurs, maybe. You can sell anything at Christmas if you know the right buttons to push. Mm -hmm. OK, bye. bye. OK, let's get this stuff packed up. We've got to show the fair home house in an hour, and I want it to look like a holiday wonderland before the clients get there. Are you and Mason doing anything fun for Christmas? Ugh, just getting through it as fast as possible. You don't have any Christmas spirit at all, do you? It's an inconvenient holiday. All the banks and escrow companies are closed. Mason's off school. It just, it throws me off. Hmm. Can you get this stuff piled up? I'm going to check messages. Christmas with your dad. Nobody's working after tomorrow anyway. Yeah, we were never really big on Christmas, although I am worried about him. I think he's going through some kind of a life crisis. Younger girlfriend? Oh, I wish. No, he's, he's found this town out in the middle of nowhere, and uh, I don't know, he's just fallen in love with it. He's bought a cabin and everything. That sounds great. So spontaneous. Uh, my father is the least spontaneous man I've ever met. He's been working 50 hours a week at the same bank for over 20 years. Hmm, sounds familiar. I'm nothing like my father. Uh. You're a total workaholic. Hey, if you're in town, you have to come with me for this most amazing thing. Uh, that doesn't sound good. Holiday speed dating. Oh. Kind of a last-ditch effort not to be miserably lonely over Christmas and New Year's. I was right. That sounds tragic. You gotta date sometime. Dating just leads to disappointment. You have to be open to possibilities, Liz. Hey, I'm open to the possibility of a good sale any day. Hey, John, it's Liz McCann. I just wanted to confirm you received our counteroffer on Briarwood. Call me. Oh, hey, Dad, it's me. Um, look, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it up there. I'm just swamped with work right now, so I think we're gonna have to, uh, take a rain check. detergent makes a lot of bubbles. Where is the babysitter? Inside, I think. Want to have a snowball fight? 
No, I certainly do not want to have it. Yeah, can you fax the inspection report over to the Campbells? Mom! Get them to sign off on the contingency, and then we'll get it over to escrow. Mom! I know, escrow's closed. Just fax it over there, and then go on home. OK, bye. <sighs> Sorry, Tiger. You said we were going to get a tree this year. What? A tree. You said we'd at least get a tree. Uh, well. I don't know if we're going to do anything after that stunt that you pulled on the front lawn. You know, you're almost 10 now, Mason. I expect more from you. We were just having fun. I figure you wouldn't even notice anyway. Well, what's that mean? Nothing. Look, I know I've been working a lot lately. All the time. Hey. This looks great. Yeah. Oh, Mason. I wish that there were more of me, but there's just not. Is it going to be just us for Christmas again? Well, yes, but it's not such a bad thing. Hey, I heard they've got an ice skating rink downtown. I thought we might go try that out. That sounds cool. And what about a tree? <sighs> and sure, we can get a tree. And I promise, I'm going to get better at this whole Christmas thing. Grandpa and I just never really did very much. Every year, he got me one present. And honestly, that was about it. And not even a toy. Toys were a waste of money, as far as Grandpa was concerned. Yeah, I know. He always buys me a book. And a savings bond, because... It's never, never too early, early to start, start saving, saving for a rainy, rainy day. day. <laughs> right. Grandpa sent us a card. Oh, yeah? This is where he moved. It looks like such a cool place. Hollyville, America's Christmas town. Oh, this is so not like him. Not again. Yeah, Allison. Oh, uh, hey, Dad. Is it Grandpa? Yeah, we got the card and the message and you know, I, it's just not such a good time right now. Please, Mom, can we go? Uh, sorry, Mason, hang on a sec. I'm sure that it's a lovely place, and I bet you'll have a great holiday up there. Come on, it's Christmas Town. They probably have lots of cool things to Mason, do. Mason, I can't hear. I'm sorry, Dad, what? You what? Well, why would you quit your job? Dad! <laughs> You can't just pick up your whole life and start over because it's not practical. Oh my gosh, you're not sick, are you? Is everything okay? We should go check on him. Make sure he's not crazy or something. Um, all right, Dad, you know what? Maybe we can come up for a couple of days, but that's it. We're going? So, where is this place anyway? Okay. Right. I love road trips. We can sing Christmas carols all the way. Yippee. Look, we're probably gonna hit holiday traffic. It's over a day's drive getting there, and it's the absolute worst time to be on the roads. You think they'll have snow? Oh, oh, Mason, don't get too excited, okay? It's probably just some kind of tourist trap. And no work, right? I'll try. Promise? Come on, get in the car. Running it on the road to beat the traffic. Come on, Mom. We're burning daylight. Let's go. All right. I spy something red. Mason, let's not. OK, you go first then. Maybe you could read. I'll get car sick. Go. I spy something yellow.
Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Mom, you gotta sing. What's that, Tiger? Sing. Oh, yeah, right. Um, jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, what fun. Oh. Sorry. This could be important. You promised. Oh, oh what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey! Mom, I'm tired. Don't worry, honey. We'll stop at the next motel. Mom, are we there yet? <sighs> Good question, Mace. The motel owner said it was in this direction, but it's not marked on the map. That's weird. Yeah, it must be even smaller than I thought. But the address that your grandpa gave us was on this road. Didn't he tell you how to get there? He said we couldn't miss it. Mom, stop, stop! What? What is it? Look, look! Did you see something? Look up there! It's a reindeer, isn't it? Mason! 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 I mean it, get back here. It's totally a reindeer! Okay, well, don't go near it. It's probably got fleas or something. Mason, did you hear me? Don't go near it. It's okay, Mom. I think it's friendly. Get back here right now. Mason, I can't. Hey, wait! I'm not gonna hurt you! Mom! There's a town down the hill! We found it! Great. Okay, come on. Get back in the car. Don't do this to me. Great. Uh. Mom, Hollyville, it's awesome. Wait till you see it. It looks just like the picture. What's wrong? The car won't start. That's okay. We can walk. It's not that far. Great. This is so exciting. We're actually walking through the woods. Yeah, it's a real adventure. Don't you think this is so cool? Yes. I wonder what else they have here. I'm glad you're excited. Hey, Mom, let's take a shortcut. Oh, no, Mason. Mason! Mason! That's the last time I'm taking a shortcut. I guess it's not all quite as charming as they make it look on the postcard. That's a lot of security for a warehouse. NP Enterprises. I wonder what they do. Strange. Out here in the middle of nowhere.
Nice uniforms. Take a picture. It lasts longer. Oh. We've got a kid. Keep an eye on her. I can't believe Grandpa lives here. You and me both. He's a city guy. Happy holidays, and welcome to the Hollyville Top of the Morning Report. Big news as Dasher and Dancer welcome Lil Dancer Jr. into the world last night. Mother Dasher is doing well and is expected to be flying high in no time. Well, they really push the Christmas theme here, don't they? Weather at the North Pole is a balmy 12 degrees with clear skies. Perfect sleigh riding weather. I'm hungry. To eat. If you're hungry, you'll want to stop in at Hollyville's own Eggnog Cafe. Eggnog Cafe? End of town on the right, you can't miss it. And that's today's Top of the Morning Report, brought to you by America's Christmas Town. It's a sales gimmick. I use them all the time. Come on, Rox. You know you want some more whipping cream. Mm, I shouldn't. No, yes, you should. It's, it's homemade, it's white, it's fluffy, it's... It's Christmas. Maybe just a scooch. Now we're talking. Maybe a tiny scooch more. Hey, I'm Kevin. Welcome. Merry Christmas. Hi. We'd like to get a quick bite. Great. There's a table right here. Oh, um, I was also wondering, is there a mechanic in town? Well, it's your lucky day. Not only is there a mechanic in town, there's a mechanic in the room. That's Roxy right there. Oh, it's great. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Um, Why not? Roxy gets a little ornery when people get between her and her hot cocoa, so I would just give it a few minutes. Oh. Okay, well then, we'll eat first, I guess. That's a good idea. Can I interest you guys in the chocolate chip pancakes? I mean, because our chef makes the best chocolate chip pancakes in the world. And there he is right there. He's only been with us a few weeks. Hey, Jack. Liz. Dad? Grandpa! Mason! Ho, oh. ho! You're, you're cooking? Well, he's a short order chef. Best one I've ever seen. I hired him on the spot. <laughs> oh, yeah. Look at how big you got. Can I lift you still? I don't think so. Oh, yes, I can. I want. Boy, oh, boy. You look different. You look messy. Messy, huh? Well, let me tell you a little secret, Mason. I'm finding I like being messy. You should try soap suds. They're the best. <laughs> oh, your mom doesn't look too happy. It's okay. That's how she normally looks. All these chocolate pancakes yeah. are fantastic. Oh, you know what? I got a big cooler over there full of ice cream. You go pick a flavor and you can have some after breakfast, okay? Okay. Off you go. So, you found the town. I told you you couldn't miss it. Dad, are you okay? Oh, absolutely. Everything's better than it's been in a long time. It's better. You're a burger flipper in a diner, and everything's better. Actually, he's a short order chef. What? This man does not just flip burgers. Oh, no. No, no, no. This man is an artist in the kitchen. Tell it, brother. This man's meatloaf is out of this world. Amen. Amen. Yeah, I was head cook back in the army. Did I ever tell you that? No, not that I remember. Barely remembered myself till I stumbled in here. Come on. Hey, uh, Jack. Discover, Discover the, the magic. magic. Indeed. Indeed. <laughs> Has everyone here drunk the Kool-Aid? Dad, can I talk to you, please, alone? Well, I, I am kind of busy. I got a lot of orders. Uh, I'll be right back. 
Mom, can I go look around outside? No, not now. Uh, you have nothing to worry about. Hollyville's the safest place on the planet. Come on. OK, but stay right in front, all right? Thanks. You know, I should give this place a chance. I think you might like it here. I don't think so. Nice day outside. Why don't we go outside and talk? Huh? Fine. Oh, what a day! Thank you. <sighs> Mason? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, don't worry about him. He'll be fine. Dad, you're a cook. <laughs> Just trying to make sense of this here. Well, I just made a few changes, that's all. A few changes. You're a banker. You know, suit, tie, big office. Yeah, and look at me now, huh? <laughs> so, what, you were just driving through here? On my way to play a couple of rounds at Levis. And now you've just decided to stay here. Forever. It does sound a little crazy when you put it like that. Yeah. Is there any other way to put it? I can't explain it. It just feels right. Right. Moving to Penunxville and becoming a fry cook. I'm happy here. I don't know. It's like, you know, I was filled up with the spirit of Christmas. The spirit of Christmas? It's like I just walked into a very special Christmas episode of The Twilight Zone. You know, Elizabeth, I don't appreciate your tone of sarcasm. And I certainly don't need you telling me how to live my life. Oh, well, you've certainly had no trouble telling me how to live mine. I don't want to talk about it anymore. Of course you don't. Why should now be different than any other time in our lives? Oh, Elizabeth, did you drive all this way just to argue with me? No, although it wouldn't be the first time we've argued over the holidays. Dad, I think we need to get you some help, some professional help. My hand is working just fine, thank you. I'm seeing things in a way I've never seen them before. Oh, come on! Oh, that's, that's enough! Not... You're, you're throwing off my rhythm. We'll talk about this later. You really haven't changed a bit. Order up. Excuse me. I know you're enjoying your hot cocoa, but I really need to get my car fixed. Two minutes. This part at the bottom is the chocolate dust. Mm. Oh. <laughs> I'll be waiting outside. So what do you say we pile into my truck? Go take a look at your car. Hmm? Great. You know, I can't believe you're Jack's daughter. <laughs> I tell you, that man knows how to samba. How to what? Samba. Cha-cha. Oh, you name it. He's a natural. He dances? You may call it dancing. I call it burning up the floor. So where did you say your car's at? Oh, top of the hill, about two miles from here. We walked into town. 
Mom. You're not gonna believe where I just was. Mason, didn't I tell you to stay right outside the door? I know, but I... No, no buts. When I tell you to do something, you do it, okay? Remember that place? The place with the gates? I was there when I saw a truck. And the truck was carrying a slave. Snooping around NP headquarters, huh? MP headquarters? Roxy, we need you to come take a look at this. We got a problem. Which unit is it? It's the primary. Better get it over to the garage. See? He totally looks like an elf. Mason, shh. That's rude. Listen, I'm afraid your car is going to have to wait until later, maybe tomorrow even. Hey, Kev, you want to do me a favor? Use my truck and trailer to get her car into town, huh? I'd be honored. I'll stay here with Grandpa and have some breakfast. Great. Maybe he can imbue you with the spirit of Christmas. Are you sure you don't mind? Good thing about being the boss is taking off whenever you want. Great. Thank you. You're welcome. Busy place. Well, it is Christmas Eve Eve. Christmas Eve Eve? The day before Christmas Eve. Right. So what is today? Christmas Eve Eve Eve? Now you're getting it. Hey. Hey, Mike. The big guy would love some more of that chili. You think that'll be OK? Yeah, no problem. I'll have Jack whip up a special batch. OK, we'll pick it up. You got it. Excuse me. I'm just curious, NP Enterprises, what do you guys do exactly? She's from out of town. Um, international export. Really? Way out here? Hmm. There's no airplanes or trains or anything. It doesn't seem very practical. Oh, really? Well, maybe I should just write up a memo and take it upstairs and tell the bosses that you don't approve. <laughs> He's not very friendly, is he? It's a busy time of year. Well, I think that uniform's gone to his head. It's hanging up on the hard turn. Sounds like the chassis needs adjusting. All right, call as soon as you're ready for the pickup, because you know what a tight schedule we're on, right? The quicker you let me get to work, the quicker I get it done. You'll be able to get it fixed in time, right? Otis, when have I let you down? Hmm? When I'm done with this kitten, she'll fly. Thank you. 
when we were out here earlier, Mason thought he saw a reindeer. Yeah, they bring him in a week early, let him rest up. So they can be in peak condition. Were you born here? No. No, most people sort of find their way to Hollyville. Or it finds them. I've never really, really been quite sure which. So, on the level, what's the deal? What deal? The whole shiny, happy people, guys dressed like elves, reindeer thing. Well, it's not like that all the time. Most of the year, it's, it's just like a normal, small town. It is a factory town, and the business happens to be Christmas, so it gets pretty hopping in December. So it's a tourist thing, right? We're sort of out of the way, so we don't actually get that many tourists. Oh, come on. I know good branding when I see it. Believe it or not, we like to keep Hollyville our little secret. Um, so, I don't mean to be nosy, but, um, you and, you and Mason, you're, you're on your own, yeah? Uh, yeah, since he was six months old. My ex-husband decided just a tad late that he had absolutely no interest in being a family man. Mm. Well, you're doing a great job. I mean, he seems like a really good kid. He is. He's a handful, but he's got a lot of spunk. Like his mom? Uh, so, do you have any kids? <laughs> I'm afraid not. My fiance, she walked out the door about a week before we were supposed to be married, so... You got quite a lot farther than I did. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I was too. For a long time. Then I found myself here. Hollyville is a bit like the land of broken toys. Most of the people who find their way here, they usually have something that needs to be fixed. Discover the magic. Exactly. Mm. Whatever. Not buying it, huh? It's PR. Yeah, well, you certainly found your way here, didn't you? Would you mind pressing that for me? I'm gonna give the word. Okay. I don't need to be fixed. Yeah, you seem perfect. All right, let's see if we can get this thing up without ripping off the front end. What? I'm just kidding. I know exactly what I'm doing. I think. That'll be fine. So, uh, can I expect it sometime tomorrow? Oh, why? Aren't you staying for Christmas? Well, I'd like to keep my options open. So, the car they brought in for you, it's a strange shape. Oh, nothing special, just a little tune-up. Huh. Well, I'd love to see your garage. You know, why don't I give you a call tomorrow if I get your car ready?
it's definitely a big change from the city, but it's quiet out here. I love it. This is it. Cool, it's like an old time cabin. Yeah. Kind of cozy, isn't it? <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, why don't we leave the luggage in the car and get it later and uh, just go in the house and light a fire in the fireplace, huh? What's wrong now? Nothing. It's charming. I'm sorry, Elizabeth. I've been so busy at the diner, I, I just haven't had a chance to clean up. You got a tree. Well, sure, you can't have Christmas without a tree, can you? Mom can. Can I help decorate it? I'll tell you what, why don't you take your stuff to your room, it's just down the hall there, and I'll make some hot apple cider and then we'll decorate the tree, okay? This is the best. <laughs> well, when you said Christmas spirit, you weren't kidding, were you? Yeah, <laughs> it's a lot, isn't it? I have to admit, it's pretty overwhelming. I, I didn't know where to start. So why'd you buy all this stuff? Oh, I didn't buy this. This is ours. Ours? Yeah, I, uh, I found them in the basement back of the house when I moved. That's, that's Mom's. Yeah. I'd almost forgotten how much your mother loved the holidays. Now, every year I used to put my foot down, say, not one more Christmas ornament, I'd say, and she'd come through that door with another something or other she couldn't live without. I thought you threw all of this out. Well, I, I always planned to, but, uh, well, I, uh, I just couldn't. So I, uh, I just hid them away, pretended they didn't exist. Which was a pretty stupid thing to do, as it turns out. It wasn't good for me, and uh, certainly it wasn't good for you. You were only seven years old when your mother died. I thought that the only way that we could survive was by being strong, by moving on, not looking back. <sighs> Elizabeth, I can't tell you how wrong I was. How could we ever forget? Can I put on the ornaments? Ah, uh, sure, sure, come on. Mom, aren't you gonna help? No, you know what? I think I have a bit of a headache. I'm just gonna lie down. I'm sure you and Grandpa will do a great job. Oh, come on, Tiger, let's get to it. The tree's not gonna decorate itself. And we're gonna make this the best one ever. All right, here we go. Let's grab an end. I've got this end. Okay. Take it all the way around. Can we hang the lights, too? As many lights as you want. I just hate that you're having to handle everything on your own. Are you sure you don't need me to come back? Because I can if you need me to. Really? Ah, there's nothing going on. Everybody's closed. So we never got confirmation on the O'Connor loan. Just relax and enjoy your Christmas. Really, everything's under control here. <sighs> All right. How are things going with your dad? Good. He and Mason seem to be getting along well. You? Are you having fun? Oh, you should see this place. It's like the cult of Christmas. It's kind of creepy. Well, I, for one, love Christmas. You sound awfully chipper. Let's just say holiday speed dating was a huge success this year. So no more bah humbugs. Have fun and quit worrying. Bye. 
No, Allison. Allison. I'd say good morning, but it doesn't look like that's the case. I'm not a Scrooge. Well, that's good to know. I just, I look at the world realistically. Well, they, they say you find what you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Well, it's better than being naive. Is it? Because children are naive, and they're a lot happier than most adults. Ergo, being naive wins out over cynical. Ergo. Philosophy major. A lot of good it did me. And I'm not cynical, either. You? You shouldn't fake it pretty well. I'm gonna get you some more coffee. Happy holidays, and welcome to the Hollyville Top of the Morning Report. Please be on the lookout for a runaway snowman, described by authorities as having a button nose and two eyes made out of coal. Oh, oh what what yeah. Fun. Are we just take a quick look at it? No, no, the papers are on the desk. No, under those. No, under those papers. Mom, do you see that? Just a sec. Yeah, on the top right of those documents. It's that number Dad, there. Mom! What? Look! Oh. Okay, Mason, I can't do this right now. I finally tracked down my escrow officer. Yeah, that's the number. That's it. Is there a fax? Okay, just give me that. That's fine. Tell him. Mason! I'll call you back. Did you see him? He went in the building. Who? The Santa guy. I think he works here. Tiger, come on, enough with the games. But I saw him, and there's all these packages, and the guy who looks like an elf, <laughs> and the sleigh. I even heard them say it can fly. Mason, please. I'm telling you, I saw it all. I'll prove it to you, come on. You don't need to prove anything. Well, you're acting like I'm crazy or something. <sighs> Look. I believe that maybe you saw a sleigh. It's probably a prop or something. Then why was that mechanic fixing it? I don't know. We can ask her when we pick up the car. And what about the elf guy and all those gifts? Everyone knows elves have pointy ears, right? He just dresses funny, like everyone in this town. Oh, Tiger, I love that you have an active imagination, but you're not suggesting that that man was Santa Claus, are you? I don't know. Maybe. He's not, okay? How do you know? It's possible. Mason. I'm just saying it's possible. Why do you always have to be like this? <sighs> Tiger! Hey! No loitering. I'm not. Never mind. Are those presents? You'll uh, have to move along, ma'am. Just move along. You guys really go for the details here, don't you? This is Mike. I'm gone. An eye out, though. I know. I wasn't either. I know. You were shocked. Oh, wow. Yeah, amazing. That is not a very cheery face. Can I ask you something? Yeah, fire away. I thought, no, it's stupid. There's no stupid questions, Mason. I thought maybe I saw Santa Claus. But, Mom, she didn't believe me. She didn't believe it was possible. 
believing is not always easy for adults. Now, Hollyville, Hollyville is a town of believers, but most of us didn't start out that way. At least not when we first got here. But believing is something that comes naturally to you when you're young. Don't ever lose that, Mason. Because when you get older, it takes a lot more work. So, do you believe or not? I do. I'm a definite believer. So, I might have really seen him? Anything and everything is possible. Yeah, that's what I think too. There you are. Is everything okay? Yeah, we were just uh, having a conversation. Turns out we have a lot in common. Isn't that right? Definitely. So please tell me you're coming to the festival tonight. It's the beginning of Christmas Eve. It's just a couple hours away. Well, you've got the day wrong. Tomorrow's Christmas Eve. No, 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 not here, in New Zealand. New Zealand's a complete 24 hours ahead of us. That's where Christmas Eve starts. Of course. I wouldn't want to miss that. No, you shouldn't. Well, we better go check on the car. See ya. He's amazing. He knows so much about Christmas. Does he? You should talk to him. He could teach you. Well, I have to teach you. I'm really sorry. This is taking a lot longer than I figured. Uh huh. That special project you were working on for North Pole Enterprises. Oh, it's a doozy, let me tell you. Those reindeer aren't easy on a sophisticated machine like that. Reindeer? Mm hmm. Are you working on a sleigh? Not a sleigh. The sleigh. And I've only got a couple of hours to finish up, so if you'll excuse me. But. He's still working on the sleigh? Apparently. Lights are off. I thought Grandpa came home. Well, that's what they said at the cafe. It doesn't look like he's here. Maybe he went for a walk or something. Oh, I can't see a thing out here. Stay still till I can find a light. Oh, there's somebody in here. Surprise! I finished. Merry Christmas. No, oh, it's too much, isn't it? Is it too much? I mean, I I've never really done this before, so. Grandpa, it's awesome. <laughs> Elizabeth. It's nice, Dad. Grandpa, that's a lot of presents. Yeah. You know, should have always been like this. Uh, what should have? Your childhood. You know, full of magic, full of wonder, full of possibilities. <sighs> you know, your mother truly was the spirit of Christmas. And you know what? I think I found her again. Right here. Grandma, these aren't just books. Well, of course not. What fun would that be, huh? <gasps> Look at uh, We've got to get ourselves ready to head down to the festival. Wouldn't want to miss the cookie decorating contest. Who are you and what have you done with my father? <laughs> Come on, Liz, the 
cookies await. Just this one call. Super fast, I promise. Just like the last one? Hi, John. Did you get my message? Oh, great. But I know it's the holidays. I'm sorry, but if you could check on that, that would be... Okay, let me know. Thank you. Yeah, there's a You said no working. No, just a couple more calls. Mom, you're talking on your cell phone at a Christmas party. Can we just have fun? Yes, we will. I promise. Fine, if you miss Santa and it's late, don't blame us. Hey, I thought we talked about this already. I don't want you to get your hopes up about this whole Santa Claus thing. He's coming. Grandpa and Kevin told me. They're loading up Santa's sack with the toys right now. Why'd you tell him that? Because he asked. And they're in a hurry, because Santa's takeoff is in two hours. Oh, really? But it's not even Christmas Eve. Or did everybody forget that? It's not Christmas Eve here, but in New Zealand, it's already tomorrow, right? Exactly right. Good one. Right, I forgot. Well, that's fine, but as long as you know you're not actually going to see it, right? It's just a pretend thing. You know, why don't you just go ahead and work? At least that way, you won't keep trying to ruin everything. <sighs> Mason! Leave me alone. I just don't want him to be disappointed. It's my fault. Yes, it is. Why are you filling his head with all that nonsense no. anyway? It's my fault because I raised you the way that my father raised me. No nonsense, nose to the grindstone. I can't imagine how disappointed you were with me then. And for that, I am truly sorry, Elizabeth. I really am. gonna be all right. I just don't want him to grow up always being disappointed. Always thinking that things are gonna be great, when the truth is they're just not. Sure sounds like you've had some hard times. I'm sure we all have, but I learned to take care of myself. And how did you manage to do that? Stop hoping? I started being realistic. Started seeing the world as it really is. A hard, cold place. You think I'm a horrible person. No, I don't. I think you're a really good person doing the best that you can. Life is full of disappointments. But when I look at Mason, I see the light shining in his eyes when he looks at a Christmas tree or he talks about the elves. I can't help but think that that's kind of magic burning inside him. And a little magic and a little hope. That's what we have. That's what we have to arm ourselves against the grand disappointments of this world. Hope, huh? Mm -hmm. It's never been one of my strong suits. Never too late to learn. Well, it might just lead to another disappointment. It could lead to something pretty amazing. I, um, I have to go look for Mason. Mason? There we go. Oh, my God. Mason, can I ask you to do me a favor? What? Try not to be so hard on your mom. You know, she didn't have an easy time growing up with me. I think you're great. Yeah, well, I'm getting better, but, uh, well, it took a long time. But don't you worry. She'll come around. I wish there was some way for her to understand. She doesn't believe in anything. She's just doing what she thinks is best for you. 
I mean, you are the most important thing in her life right now. <sighs> hey, I got an idea. You want some hot chocolate? Guaranteed to make you feel better. I guess. <laughs> That's my boy. You sit tight, I'll be right back. Hi-ho, the mistletoe. <laughs> Let's see a little smoochy smooch. Oh, no, we're not together. Hi-ho, the mistletoe. Kiss. Um, kiss. Kiss. It's, uh, kiss. 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 It's not funny. Kiss. Mom? Kiss. 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 Can I borrow your cell phone? Kiss. What for? Kiss. I want to take a picture kiss. with it. Kiss. Kiss. Are you going to kiss, kiss Kevin? No. Kiss. Look, here. But be careful with it, OK? I know. I know. Kiss. 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 Kiss, 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 kiss
And I could have used more than three hours sleep, but you don't hear me complaining. Let's just get it loaded up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. The truck's not gonna move on its own. Let's go. Not the candy store. We're gonna have to put a leash on that boy. No sign of him. Dad, do you have your cell phone on you? Oh, good idea. You want me to call your phone? No, it's okay. Let me. Are you? Oh, hey, Mom. Mason, tell me where you are right now. I'm gonna take pictures. Then you'll believe me about the sleigh and everything. No, I want you to come back here. Soon as I take the pictures. I gotta go. See you in a little while. Mason, don't hang up. Mason? Where is he? I think he must have gone back to the garage. Can you stay here and keep an eye out for him? I'm sure he's fine. Open the gate. Back it in. Let's go, let's go. Back up. Back up. Open the doors. Let's get it in there. Come on. Move it. Move it. Back it in. Careful. Easy. Straight, straighten it up. Team up and make sure we're ready for immediate loading. Yes, sir. For who's up in 45 minutes? Let's move it. What are you waiting for? Christmas? I told you that Roxy's at the festival. He said there was a sleigh in there. Oh, that sleigh is loaded and ready to go by now. Really? She was really repairing a sleigh? That's Roxy's job. She did the conversion, she does the repairs. <sighs> okay, he said he was taking pictures, so... He's gotta be at MP Enterprises. And we really need your cooperation. And nobody's allowed to try the big guy's suit. You know who you are, and so do we. Can somebody please get more jingle bells to the loading bay immediately? We've got a reindeer poop alert. Clean up crew to the holding area right away. Come on, fellas, we got a lot of poop to clean. And bring a fan. A big one. Okay, so these ones 
your All right, time to start loading up. All gifts should be on board and ready for travel in five minutes. Jingle bells should be unloaded in loading bay seven. Mistletoe in loading bay No unauthorized visitors are permitted on this premises. Listen, you nutcracker stormtrooper, my son is inside. Nobody gets past me. Oh, really? Are you certain of that? Listen, I would like you to open these gates so I can come in there and look for him. Uh, maybe there's somebody you could talk to. I, we really need to find the kid. We're awfully busy in here. It's like a half hour it'll take off. Mike, I wouldn't be asking you unless it was important. Just a sec. Sometimes being nice to people works better than chewing people out. Not usually. Well, sometimes. Does anyone speak Swahili? If so, please report immediately to Wishlist Translation Services. here anyway. I saw them unloading presents. The export. Yeah, you told me. But there's no trucks, no train depots. Excuse me, what's going on here? Do you have any idea what sort of deadline we're on right now? Hmm? Hi, my son is inside your facility, and unless you want me to call the police immediately, you'll let me in to look for him. Pretty cute when she's angry, isn't she? Yeah. Sorry. Listen. Uh, Otis, we can probably get this taken care of pretty quickly and get out of your way. This could not have happened at a worse time. Open up the gates! Michael, I want you to stay here and make sure no one else enters. Come on! 
Let's see if we can find ourselves astray running around somewhere. Attention, everybody. Code red. We have a possible kid in the building. Hey, gotta find him. Oh, oh. What's up, guys? Where did I put my clothes? Hmm? Who do we have here? Reindeer got your tongue? <laughs> well, I think this is definitely going on your naughty list. <laughs> well, he must be inside because he phoned and said he was taking a picture of a sleigh. We've already unloaded the sleigh. Hey, Otis, we found the boy. Is he okay? Where is he? Santa Claus had one of the workers take him back into town. He's at the eggnog. He's just fine. <sighs> you happy now? Can we please get back to work? Thank you. All right, we've got less than five minutes, people. Let's get this show rolling. See, I told you that they're not bad people. What do they do? They do Christmas. <sighs> Come on, let's not keep Mason waiting. that you saw Santa? Yeah, it was so awesome. I saw him all. Mason. Mom? It was the coolest thing. I saw him, the guy, Santa Claus. It was really him. At first, I thought he was totally mad at me. But actually, he wasn't so much. It's the coolest place. There are all these presents. This is where they do the loading up of all the toys. Oh, I've got pictures. You want to see? They were there. I checked them. Here, let me see. It was real. I swear. The toys were getting shipped off everywhere. And Santa looked just like he does in all the pictures. You, you believe me, don't you? I do, Mason. I do believe you. Come on, Mason. Santa's about to make his big entrance and everybody's waiting. So, Santa's actually coming to town, huh? Yeah, just like he does every year on Christmas Eve, Eve, courtesy of North Pole Enterprises. Oh, so they're behind all of this? Yes, they're business. They create Christmas decorations and... and props. Props? Yeah, the gingerbread houses for the mall Santas, the elf costumes, giant Christmas trees. International export. Mm-hmm. So that's the big secret? Well, we try to keep it quiet because we wouldn't want to turn Hollyville into some big tourist trap now, would we? No, we wouldn't want that. Hey, Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas. Wow. What? Well, I'm just wondering if maybe you're becoming a believer. Maybe, a little. And it feels good, doesn't it? Because Christmas might not last for long, but it feels good for a little while just to let go and believe. Like there's a whole world of possibilities out there, just waiting. I haven't really opened the door to possibilities. 
Not for a long time. And it sounds like you're overdue. See, because we have this thing called, uh, discovering the magic. Oh, yeah. I think I might have heard it once or twice. Yeah, but what the real magic is, is being thankful for what you have and hoping that something even better is coming. Sounds like a lot of wishful thinking. Well, that's best kind, because you never know what's waiting right around the corner. The sleigh. Roxy's crowning achievement. Mason did see it. Santa, the reindeer, and the big red sleigh. Then if we don't hurry, we're gonna miss him handing out the presents. Well, what are we waiting for? I got a present. You did? What is it? I don't know. Can I open it? Go for it. I'm so glad you came here. Hey! Ready to have some fun? I thought I was. Well, I think you need a little something to get into the Christmas spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Come on, Jackie boy, I'm not done with you yet. Ah! Help! Looks like somebody found a little bit of holiday spirit. Excuse me. Can you hold that? May I interest you in a little holiday samba? Oh. I'm not a very good no, no, no. Dancer. I'm a horrible dancer, too, but we can make fools out of ourselves together. Okay? I like that. Hey, ho, the mistletoe. Oh, it's you. Hey, come back here with that. Christmas to me. <laughs> oh, that boy. I'll be right back. Thank you. Mason? Shh. Listen. You might want to look up. It's a beautiful moon. Better than a picture any day. Liz, everything okay? Everything's perfect. It's the best Christmas ever. Yeah, the best Christmas ever. <laughs> Come on, Mason, let's go get a cup of hot chocolate.
Would you care to dance? <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah.